If you are playing around with Elasticsearch and you need some test data, it's sometimes difficult to insert all of that data yourself because you're going to you're going to spend a lot of time putting things into an Elasticsearch index and it's quite frankly a waste of time. So we have here a plugin called uh, Twitter River and this allows us to index a constant stream of tweets, random tweets or, or tweets on the public timeline. And they are put into your index and then you can just search on them. Now bear in mind with tweets, you get lots of data. You get things like geolocation, you get the user's name, you get the user's screen name, you get the actual tweet itself. A variety of data that you can actually play around with. So in this video, we're gonna look at installing this plugin and getting it set up so we can actually use it. So the first thing that we want to do is over on apps.twitter.com, you're going to want to create a new application because your Twitter River plugin is going to need credentials like an API key to be able to actually do this. So let's just call this Twitter River. And for the description, we'll just write Twitter River for ES. Uh, the website doesn't matter at all. You can just choose absolutely anything. So I'm just going to choose cocourse.com and the callback URL you do not need one. So go ahead and read the uh, developer rules and uh, click create your Twitter application. And once that's done, we'll be able to head over to the API keys section. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna, going to want to create an access token because what we need is the API key, the API secret, and then we're gonna need these access tokens as well. So if you just hit that button, that should generate and give the page a refresh. And there they are. So let's go ahead and in actually install this plugin. It's very, very, very easy with um, Elasticsearch to do this. Now, depending on what version you're using, I'm going to install version two here, but there are other versions that you can install as well. So I'm just going to grab the URL for this. Now, inside of my command, uh, my terminal, I'm currently in my Elasticsearch directory where it's installed. So in the bin directory or the binary directory, we have Elasticsearch itself um, and we have this plugin. So what we can do is we can use plugin to actually install this like so. And that's very, very quick. It'll just download that and there we go. So we don't need to restart Elasticsearch. We can head straight over to Postman, making sure that Elasticsearch is actually running. What we need to do now is we need to actually add some metadata to that river. So over on the uh, GitHub repository, uh, this actually has all this for us. So I'm going to copy all this and I'm going to put this into just a uh, text editor here. Now we need to add our consumer key, which is the same as our API key, the consumer secret, which is the same as our uh, API secret. So let's just grab all of these now and just put them into there. And then we'll look at a couple of other things that we can do. So we've got our API secret there. It just goes into there. And lastly, our access token. So these are the ones we generated just a moment ago. And then our access secret as well, just there. There we go. So we've got all that data in there. Now for the index, this gives you the ability to choose the index name and the type. Now the type's pretty... Um, obvious here it's a status and the index I usually go with something like Twitter River rather than my Twitter River it's just longer to type if you need to um, but you can really call this anything you could just call this Twitter if you wanted to um, so that's pretty much it this is the this is essentially if you've not used Elasticsearch before which I, I'll assume you have this is essentially the same as a database and this is essentially the same as a table now the bulk size and the flush interval Whichever of these is reached first, that's how that's how these tweets will be put in. So you could change the flush interval to one second, for example, or it could be as long as, say, a minute. Now, what this would do is every minute, it would accum uh, as long as uh, enough tweets have been accumulated, they would be inserted into your uh, into your index and your type. The bulk size, if this is reached first, that will then be put in. Now, I usually use these as defaults because after a while, this just uh, accumulates and it will give you enough data to work with, really. So let's actually put this into where it's supposed to be. So I'm using Postman uh, as my REST client. So I'm going to do a post 
and under the data, this is obviously JSON, I'm going to add this in, but I'm going to add it to underscore river, and then I'm going to choose the name of the, the river. Now, in this case, it's Twitter river. This is where you'll be able to access the data. So you can see that this is the same as the index I've given here, and then it's underscore meta. So we can do a post on that, and down here you can see that we've got a version 2. I've already inserted it before, that's why it's version 2. But you'll likely see version 1 if you have done this for the first time. And then what we can actually do is we can just check that that's in there by doing a get on that. And you see that we do actually have all of that data in there that, we ha uh, that we've uh, just inserted. So now what we can actually do is either in the browser or in a, or in a REST client, you can head over to Twitter underscore river and then just do a search on it with no query when we hit send uh, we'll need to restart Elasticsearch so if I just do a unload of that and then I'll do a load of that again so once we've restarted the service you can see just by sending a request to Twitter river which is the index name and then underscore search with no query string you can see that we've already got a lot of tweets coming through so we've got uh, just over a thousand here and then we can also do this in the browser if you have some kind of uh, plugin installed perhaps uh, to render JSON a little bit nicer you can see here that we have all of our tweets that we can just play around with so you can use what you know about searching or what you don't know about searching to actually search through uh, all of this data that has been indexed and of course there are a lot of different options for the uh, uh, Twitter River plugin so go ahead and read through the github page uh, to find out more but for now if you're just playing around with search this should be enough to play around with.